A warning system that alerts us to bad weather can, of course, save lives. Just think back to last week in the tornado that touched down in Cedarville. Well, one local community is getting a new tornado warning system, which will reduce its number of sirens. Local 12's Larry Davis joins us live from Hamilton to explain how fewer sirens could be better for the area. Larry. Hi, kid. Well, the old uh, tornado siren on top of the old city building here in downtown Hamilton has been around since the 1950s. Uh, as you might be able to see, the paint is even chipped on that one, as are with seven others here in the city of Hamilton. But they all, all are going to be replaced by three new more powerful tornado warning sirens. This says the city of Hamilton prepares to do more with less. This is video of the new tornado warning sirens the city of Hamilton will soon be sounding. It's much like this one located near Hamilton High School. Marie Shockley says it can be heard throughout her neighborhood, outside or inside. Oh, absolutely, Lord, yes. You can hear it real well, so it works great. The siren near Hamilton High is relatively new. It is the only one of eight sirens currently up that will stay in service. The others up since the 1950s will be replaced by three new ones that will be erected at these locations, Wasserman Road, University Boulevard, and Ford Boulevard, in addition to the newer one at Washington Boulevard. The new sirens will be three times as loud. There's newer technology out there that gives us better coverage and uh, makes the system more less prone to having any problems. When sirens are tested, police must watch them to make sure they are working. Not so with the new high-tech sirens. The new technology has the electronics into it that we won't have to do that. The system that sets it off will say siren at this location is working properly. So if a siren isn't working properly, obviously they can immediately get technicians out to make sure it's repaired and get it taken care of. Marie Shockley's father, who has hearing problems, lives with her and her family at this west side home. She feels the louder sirens will help alert them to a possible tornado. It makes me feel safer when I'm not here. Like if I'm at work and he's here, then he can hear because he's 86 years old. And, you know, the older you get, your hearing gets less and less. And again, this tornado warning siren on top of the old city building has been around since the 50s. And the city of Hamilton is using a federal grant to help pay for the new ones. The city is also uh, matching it by 50%. And those sirens and other warnings sure paid off earlier last week when the, the tornado touched down in Cedarville. The family that was inside that home heard about the warnings and they headed for the basement. Live in Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Get back to you. All right. Thank you, Larry. They should be delivered in the next couple weeks.